know you need more than I gave you after everything I took. I just hope it helps. I don't understand. You're my brother, Emilio. He said I couldn't do this to a member of my own family. Hey, Gabby, hi. Karen. Hi, What's going on? I didn't order another unit of blood for him. You didn't? I could have... He doesn't need it. It won't hurt him, will it? I'm sorry if I misread the chart. It's okay, Gabby. I, I'm sure this is hard on you. More than you know. Listen, why don't you take a break and I'll sit with him. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, well, maybe just a few minutes. Thanks. Gabby, hi. We just heard, sorry. Thanks for getting here so quickly. I asked them in for a second opinion. Why don't you take your break? No, that's that's all right. I'll just... Uh, no, I've, just... You've been here all night. I just go. We'll let you know if anything changes. He's in good hands, Gary. Okay. Gabby, uh, well, she's been acting a little strange, but I can't exactly blame her. So what, she just walked in and found him lying on the floor in the cubicle? That's what she said. She left him for a minute. When she came back, he had collapsed. It's been like this ever since. Hasn't moved a muscle. We ran all the standard tests. Other than half of his blood supply being missing, there's really nothing else wrong with him. Oh, my God! Oh, Caleb has Olivia. We found her clothes in the catacombs. That has to be where Jack is. He must be looking for him. Wait a minute. I, I don't think so. What do you mean? Chris Ramsey checked out a six-pack of blood and took a sudden vacation. Wait a minute. You think that Chris has Jack? Yeah, Doc, I bet the farm on it. The question is, where? Want to trade that empty in for a fresh one there, Jack? Get your nickel deposit back? <laughs> Those cost money. And watch your language. Or you're going to bed without supper, young man. Why are you doing this? Revenge, Mom? No, you see, the truth is, I'm just turning an ordinary lab rat into a cash cow. With fangs. Yeah, and it's my duty as a physician to pursue all possible research. I'm in the business of saving lives, Jack. No, you're in the business of locking your pockets. Well, that's a natural byproduct of saving lives. I'd never heard a living soul, or even a semi-living soul, like yourself. You're killing Livy, but keeping me locked up in here. If I don't get to Caleb, you might as well be signing her death warrant. Don't you get it? Well, if I didn't before, I do now. What are you gonna do? <sighs> Nothing. It's really me, sweetheart. I... No, I can't believe it. I told you I'd give you what you wanted most. Well, what? I, I don't even get a hug, baby? Come on. Oh, my... Mom! Oh. God, I... I can't believe it. It's really you. You're here. I can't believe it. I've missed you so much. Strengths. I got it. Okay. I'll get the orderly. You got it? Uh, yeah. All right. 
Right. Anybody want to guess what just happened here? <sighs> Not even. Can you do the restraints, please? Come Let's on. go. I'm coming. Just finish these up, please. Here. Dr. Tyson, physical therapy. Dr. Chris Tyson, physical therapy. Are you okay? Fine. You too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're all okay. Oh. I would have said this was one for the books up until these last few weeks. By the way, we've been having to tranquilize and restrain certain Karen. people lately. Hey, what's going on? Why is everybody out here? Um, well, your brother woke up agitated. Is he on any kind of medication right now? Emilio? Yeah. No. No, if, if he had a reaction, it was just because he's been unconscious for so long. Is, is he okay now? <sighs> well, we had to put him under again. Way under. Oh. Well, I'm sure you just did what had to be done. I better go sit with him. We don't want him waking up scared again. No, we don't want that. Thank you for taking an interest. I really appreciate it. Dr. McLeod to the board. Dr. Dave McLeod to the board. Well, that just gets weirder and weirder. <laughs> what do you mean? A little while ago, when I walked in, I saw Gabby giving Emilio more units of blood. What's strange about that? I never ordered it. What? She went over your head? You know, ever since she dumped Joe, she's been acting like a different person. And it's not only her. Well, what does that mean? Well, first there was Jack Ramsey. We never found out what was wrong with him, but at least he got better. Then Judge Curlin showed similar symptoms. Well, until we put the pieces together, we'd better keep Emilio under sedation without slowing down his recovery. Well, what do you think about moving him into lockdown? I think it's a good idea. My god, this is like some sort of epidemic. God, I can't believe it. I can't believe you're really here. It's really happening. It's because you wanted it so much, sweetheart. And somehow, Caleb, he, he knew. He's the one that brought me to you. But how is it possible? Oh, well, just look at this place. How, how wonderful it is. Nothing is impossible here. Livy, nothing. It's, it's a dreamland. It's our paradise for, for us, for, for all of us, all three of us, Caleb, you and me. No, but, but for how, how long? How long can you stay? There's still so many people out there that want to see you punished. No. No, nothing can hurt me as long as I'm here. No one would ever find me here. Caleb would see to that. God, you look so beautiful. I am so happy to see you. And, and to hold you. <laughs> and healthy. I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm all better. You mean you're cured? Completely, sweetheart. Completely. Well, now, now everything can go back to the way it was, huh? I mean, isn't that what you've wanted for so long? Oh, yes. Mama, yes. And he knew somehow Caleb knows exactly what I need and what I want. Okay, Jack, I hate to break up the party, but uh, I have a few questions that only a computer can answer, so don't go anywhere, okay? Go to hell. Well, without you, wouldn't dream of it. We'll go there together, little brother. I mean, what are big brothers for, right? Oh, by the way, you hungry? I'm gonna get you a juicy cheeseburger, maybe a couple pounds of raw meat, and wash it down with a big frothy glass of O negative or something. <laughs> What's your pleasure? All right, have it your way. I'll just make it a big, big surprise. I can't do this anymore. I have to eat. I need to get that lick. What is it, Livy? What's wrong? I'm afraid. Of me? No, I'm afraid that you're not really cured. Oh, honey, don't be. I am as far from crazy as any mother could be. 
So then it really is a miracle. Yes, a miracle. And now this is our time together. Forever. Forever. And you know the best part about it is that they get even most fond of this family curse is broken. What happened to Grandma and Aunt Grace? Jack, and if Chris has Jack's stash somewhere, maybe Victor can help. Good. That's a good idea. At least it's a start, huh? First we find the haystack, and then we search for the meat. Right. Dr. Parker, trauma one. Search. Dr. Lucy, I've Parker, never felt so helpless in one. my life. And it's all my fault, because I kept brushing off all your instincts, and now I... I just wish more than anything I could crawl inside your head and try and figure out what's going on, because now I understand that we're dealing with things I could never fathom. What's going on? Where... Where am I? Doc! Lucy? Lucy? No, Lucy? No, no. Are you all right? I'm okay. It's Rachel. I, I keep... I keep seeing Rachel. Do you remember... Do you remember that, that time she took us to some place and tied, tied us yeah, up? Yeah, you mean the laboratory? Yeah. Every time I close my eyes, every time my brain drifts a little bit, I keep seeing that place. Go with it. Follow the trail. It's really strange, but it's like it's happening right now. It's like... It's like we're there right now. And the feeling is so incredibly strong. All right, that's good enough for me. Come on. Wait a minute. Where are we going? Where what? do you think? I'm not fighting your universe anymore. Especially when it's all we have to go on. Good. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys of all ages, we... Oh, no. Oh. Yes, he did. Jack. That's great. First try. How did you... Oh, you mean the cage? Just another one of my little secrets. Sorry, you're not gonna be able to torture this one out of me. Um, hope you don't mind. I went ahead and ate. That was some of the best blood I've ever tasted, Chris. Where'd you get that? I feel it. Doesn't matter. But, gained my strength back. Got my appetite back. Great news, huh? Stay away from me. What? I'm sorry, bro. Did I miss something? I mean, you weren't about to leave, were you? I mean, all the fun's just about to begin, now that the tables are turned. <laughs> Where do we begin? Thanks, Marcella. Gabby's much too close to handle her brother. I understand. If she gives you any trouble, just send her to me, okay? Carol, excuse hey, me. Hey, well? Still unconscious, but his vitals are back to normal. Is Gabby still with him? Oh, yeah. She's right outside his room watching him like a hawk. Well, not for long. I just took her off his case. Well, that'll go over big. Well, health of the patient first. I'm not sure she's objective. I'm sure she isn't. Let's want to run some tests again. To compare them to Jack's? And the judge. Hey, you know what? Maybe we should talk to Kevin, because the judge was one of his patients. Well, look, while you two are talking to Kevin, I'll compare the charts. Any connections, I'll take him to Alan. Good. Thanks, Karen. OK, I'll check in later. OK. Emilio, wake up. I have to talk to you. Emilio, I have to know. 
I can't be your sister. It's impossible. Hear me and open your eyes now, Emilio. Where am I? How oh, come I can't move? They were afraid you would fall. Emilio, concentrate. Look in my eyes and tell me. I'm not your sister, am I? Does it matter? It does to me. I love you. Then tell me the truth, if that's true. Boys. So many boys. We all wanted a little girl. Baby sister. So yeah. I'm adopted. Adopted, yeah. You still our baby. My baby sister. My God. You're not my blood. That's why I could feed on you. Let me explain. Too late, Chris. You'd only be wasting your breath and my time, and I've already lost a day because of you. Please. And therefore, Livy might be dead. So don't talk to me about your explanations. You're done explaining, and I'm done listening. Check. Check, I'm your brother, OK? Brother? <laughs> don't you brother me. I know all about your brotherly love. And you're about to get a taste of mine. Check, don't do this. Oh, Chris, don't worry. It's not going to be painful. I mean, heck, I'm not going to starve you to death. And, oh, hey, where are you going, big brother? Huh? And you know what? I'm not going to feed on you. But I might snap your neck. What do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about that? You know? Jack, no! Jen, please, no! I'm so sorry. Now, Mom, so soon. I'll be back, though. The next time I'll be back for good, I'll never leave you, Livy. God, I love you. I love you, too, sweetheart. With all my heart. My little girl. My precious Olivia. You wait for me. You wait here with Caleb. I will. Goodbye, Mama. I'll see you soon. It won't be long, okay? I promise. Better? Caleb, you gave me the one thing I wanted more than anything. You gave me back my mother. I promised. All of the questions, all of the doubts I had, they're gone. Now I will give you what you wanted. You wanted me to stay for a week. I could change your life if you trust me. Oh, I do. With all of my heart. Olivia, you've made me so happy. So happy if I decided to share something else with you. Something so rare. Like nothing you've ever experienced before. Poor thing, day after day like this, never a sound, never moving. I'll bet you haven't been out of this room at all since the day they brought you here, have you? Not one minute.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tainted Love. Tainted Love. On the next Port Charles. Or I said out of here! Hands off, Marco. What's wrong? And you too, Lauren. Get out of my face! Who are you, Caleb? How do I even know you're real? Oh, I'm real, Olivia. Let me show you how real. Henry, 